That's that's not going. Ah, oh, there we go. There's an auto save. Right. Fuck y'all. Ah, really? Fine. Wow. Okay, he just fucking turbo binge me. Fine. Very least we're here. Does the fine gentleman wish a sorting? Because a sorting can be arranged. In fact, you know what? I could just fucking duke you lot and run to the exit. Oh god, no. The wet slapping of. Oh no, he dead. Right. <laughs> just wanted to check. Thought it was just maybe <laughs> Doctor Jekyll, who's, uh, whose shins could not take a three a three foot drop. But no, apparently it's everyone. Okay. I am curious if there is a way for me to get up there, but it, this all looks like it's been. Yeah, I, I can just. It's, I'm like a hair away from being able to reach it, which is mildly infuriating. Right. Let me just turn around again. Right. I just need to dodge you. So fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Stop throwing balls at me, you fucking deviant. Let's just drop. There we go. And that's safe enough to drop there. Cool, cool. Right. Excuse me, camera. Thank you. And back through we go. Uh, and the tables and benches have apparently been changed. Fuck off. Ah, god damn it. No, what? I would like to fucking attack if that's okay. God damn! Oh. <laughs> you prick! Okay, apparently I can't jump up onto the tables. That's mildly annoying. I was kind of hoping I could use that. Right, where's matey? Yeah, you come over here. Right. Fucking Christ! The fact that I can tap, tap it sometimes and it, like, hang fires is the worst part of this. The fact that I can make my input and it just doesn't fucking respond. Right. Uh, oh yeah! Kitchen's on fire, yo. <laughs> it's not optimal, but fuck it. This, this kind of stuff happens. One would think maybe turning the gas off would be a good idea, but fine. Fuck it, whatever. Yeah, money, fuck it. Get slapped. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, it was going to be me or the carbon dioxide or the carbon monoxide poisoning. So uh, it was mostly just yeah, accelerating the inevitable. There we go. Another quick save. So where are we going? You might ask. Well, seeing as we're Doctor Jekyll. Excuse me, camera, please. I can hear the moist slapping of an angry lady. Fuck off. I have no idea where the fuck you just went. Stop it. If the camera could stop trying to correct itself. There we go, got ya. Right. So, we're Dr. Jekyll. And you might have noticed back when I was in Dr. Jekyll's study, there was a cabinet on the wall that was just glowing conspicuously. Yeah, that might be relevant to what we need to do in a second. So, let's just head back over here. All the way back round to this, now I look at it, incredibly heavily distorted wall. It's almost like making this making this place out of non-standardised non timber was a really bad fucking idea, but... You know. I'm not here to question the uh, merits of the people who built this place, it's just their sanity. Right, so, back to the lab again, and uh, the door is now locked, unfortunately, and we need to go over here. God. This lab and everything in it belong to the past. What were they trying to do with that face? Just, I, I'm trying to understand the thought processes that make someone go, Yes, this hero needs a square jaw, and a square brow, and square nostrils, and just make everything out of fucking right angles, apparently. Jesus, right. Yeah, and by the way, I can only push it from that side. I spent too long trying to get to push from the other angle, and it was a fucking nightmare. Cool, so, we go into here. And we have our magical girl transformation sequence. Sort of. At a blistering 15 frames a second. And for some reason they unfuck his face in the cutscenes. But yes, my secret formula. Mountain Dew and water. No one can taste the difference.
Oh, here we go. Here we go. The beast is loose. The beast is coming. Mr. Hyde's coming to get you, and he looks really disappointed. <laughs> I don't understand how they fucked his face up. I will say, hang on a second, if we go back out this way. Okay, Mr. Hyde, much faster. And if I go around here, he looks kind of okay here, but in that cutscene, he looked utterly fucking dopey, and it, it, ah, oh, it's fucking magnificent. Right, so in this mode, we have no inventory, but we do have the almighty pimp slap. And we can also jump like a lunatic. In fact, we can jump so high. We're not probably we're probably not supposed to be able to get in here. But we can. So, up and over. Right, we need to now head all the way back. Yeah, if you thought this game wasn't going to make the most out of all the assets humanly possible, bitch be gone! <laughs> You've got another thing coming. But yes, Dr. Jekyll, I'm sorry, Mr. Hyde. The pimp hand is strong. And he also slaps doors open. He, he pretty much just sees the entire world as something he can slap. Which, I mean, when your hands are basically the size of smoked hams, everything's going to look like something he'd hit with a smoked ham. That that analogy did not go anywhere, I'm sorry. As you can see, in the, in the meantime, someone has just shoved this against the door. Well, fuck that. Uh, no, hang on a second. I said fuck that. There we go. Your mighty backhand. Lovely. Right. So. It's a bit smoky down here for some reason. Fuck off. God damn it, you cheeky bitch. As you can see, I can I can tank damage with the best of them. That's not really an issue anymore. Fuck off. Fuck off. God damn it. The ranging on the, on the uh, combat is also a little bit wonky. But anyway. Go into here, and sure enough, shit is even more on fire now. Which I suppose is... I mean, it's, it's dynamic world building, or some shit. I'm not entirely sure. Fuck that red-haired guy. Fuck this guy. Come on! Uh, could we fucking not? With the just unceremoniously bitch-slapping me, please. There we go. Well, I can actually move while slapping. That's interesting. And... <laughs> some reason, had not managed to work that out previously. What's up, bitch? Ah, God damn it! Fucking hell. There we go. Right. Fucking hell. Barely see a goddamn thing. Right, so. That's where I need to go, but as you can see, it's on fire. This is where I have to concede I, I can only imagine someone just didn't think this through. So this door, I can bitch slap open. That's fair enough. And this is a barrel. Oh, hang on a second. No, there we go. This is a barrel, uh, which is full of water. Now, the thing is, first time I played this, I just threw this at an enemy and broke it. This barrel does not respawn. Meaning that if you did that, you would not be able to progress and would have to kill yourself in the fire. That's probably why they checkpointed this section. So what I need to do, walk all the way around here, line myself up, and... There we go. Put the fire out. See? Simple. Simple pimple. And back to the platforming sections. So, you might think, seeing as I can jump really high, maybe I can just shortcut this bit. Nope. <laughs> fuck you. Also, oh fuck, oh fuck, nope. Okay, they've respawned enemies and changed the layout. Now, this is not something I have a problem with necessarily. It's just a little bit annoying when you're having to re-navigate areas and these fuckers are continually... Beaning you with fucking cutlery. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. There we go, right. It would be an unceremonious end to this if Mr. Hyde got taken out by some mental pageants with fucking crockery, but it would feel consistent at this point. Right. Now, that damp, that, that damp slapping may warn you to the fact that, yes, there's another enemy down there. You really can't see fuckers until they are either A, hitting you, or you have already done some damage to them. Right. Fuck off. Ah, oh, God! God damn it. Okay, there we go. Moving swiftly onwards. Oh, no. No, 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 no. They've aggroed. They've aggroed. Hang on a second. There we go. Fuck off. There we go. Right. That sorted all of you. And yeah, if you think it's going to be like a shortcut to allow us to get through here faster, 
you are very much mistaken. You think I'd be able to jump up and grab that. You'd fucking think. But no. No, I've got to do all the platforming again. Wait. Hang on a second. Why is... Why is the... Oh, you fucker. Okay. That... I don't think that was supposed to happen that way. But okay. I now have... Oh, fuck. Has this just broken? That's... <laughs> Oh, you evil cunt. Yeah, I, I, I actively can't get back up again. I, I need to go and grab a ledge I cannot grab from my position. Uh, and sorry, I got slapped by the fucking mental patient again. Okay. Yeah, I am... Um, uh, excuse me while I keep on getting slapped by these people. For fuck's sake. It's, it's actually fucking broken. I actively can't get to where I need to go. How the fuck do you accomplish that level of, sh of shittery? So I need to... Yeah, I, I, I really can't. I absolutely can't reload from here. There is no way for me to get to that ledge. So, what am I supposed to do? Because, I mean, like, it looks like I should be able to reach that. I am a gnat bollock away from being able to reach it. And yet I can't. So, um... I wouldn't say I'm totally shocked, but I'm not necessarily surprised that the game would actually have some kind of fucking fuckery where the cages would reset, meaning I can't actually get... Ah, could I? Aha! Right. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill myself, and I'm going to use those cages to um, get myself to where I need to go. There we go. I will find a way. Life will find a fucking way. I swear to God. There we go. Right, let's try that again. Right, so back down this way. Let's head over to this cage. I wonder if they put these cages here because they knew the game might break slightly otherwise. Okay, so... Yeah, so this is where we've got to get to. Right, line it up. There we go. Okay, okay. Uh, is this... Yeah, this is safe for me to run along. If the camera could please... Nope, camera goes fuck you. Fuck! Oh! Living on the edge. Why... Why you make... Why you be like this game? Right, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. I like to see that Hyde has exactly the same amount of strength as Jekyll when it comes to shimmying. Maybe slightly less in places. Hi, right, how we doing? Are we going to quick save back there or not? There we go. Fuck you. Okay, and now we're to the area where there's actual... <sighs> I cordially invite the game to fuck itself. Only here could I jump so far I actively slide between the platforms I need to latch onto. Fucking hell. Right, no, 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 right. There we go, got it. I feel like I'm also missing health. I can't believe- I couldn't have got- I couldn't have taken that much damage through the last section, could I? Unless- I don't know. At this point, I'm just trying to get to the last card scene. This is- we're very near the end of the section, and it's still taking me just as long to fucking get there, because the game is fucking me over. Right, there we go. Right. And there. Fuck! Hi! Oh, God. Right. Three, two, one. Hoi! Oh! And for some reason, this guy's fucked off. Okay. Well, I guess we just... Oh, he's down there for some reason! Why are you down... Never mind. I'll take it. 
Whatever. <laughs> At this point, if it works, it fucking works. Right. Now, across here. Oh, God. Across here. Over here. Up onto here. And then back around here. Okay. So, this is now pretty much exactly as we were before. Just slightly easier. Oh, God. Fucking... Right, there we go. Fuck you. Fuck this. And most of all, fuck this section. Just let me get to the next bit. <laughs> let me get to the next bit and I'll be somewhat content. There we go. Oh, hi. I will leave oh. you now. You disappointed me. I... I got all the way up! Oh, look at poor Mr. Hyde. I'm not very good at my job. <laughs> Wait a second. I've got a daughter. Come back here, you slag. I mean, you, Bonewell, not my daughter. My daughter's not a slag. She's far too young. Uh, 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 uh. My death will only make matters worse, Mr. Hyde. My God, how impressive. Does it hurt? Who are you? I am the one who will help you to get your daughter back. You are the one who certified Burnwell. You are the attorney. Your perspicacity is awe-inspiring, Dr. Jekyll. But what I do is of little consequence compared to what you will have to perform to get your daughter back. I'm listening. Have you heard about the Book of Zohar, Doctor? It is a very valuable book. It was once in the possession of the man I am representing. This book has been stolen from him. I want you to get it back. Or else you will kill my daughter. Exactly. Now, I want you to listen very closely to what I will tell you. To complete your mission, you must first get hold of three metallic pieces. These pieces are carried by three persons who should arrive in London shortly. Who are they? At this moment, they are without any doubt the most well-protected persons in the world. This is why you will have to proceed cautiously and one step at a time. First, you will go to a Chinese brothel. This brothel is led by a certain Mrs. Wong, but the real owner of this place is called James Yang. At the moment, he is in possession of one of the three pieces. He plans to reach the docks in a barge called Spirit of Law. Just make sure he never sets foot on this barge. One last thing, Doctor. My client wants to get a hold of this book as soon as possible. This is why you will have till dawn to bring it back to us. Past this delay, I will assume that you failed and your daughter will suffer the dire consequences. Good luck, Doctor. So, just to put that into perspective, rip off three of the most well-protected people in London and find a book that's been missing all before sunrise. Well, I think my daughter's fucking dead. And, uh, yeah. Is there anything? No, that's just an, an alley of nothingness. Cool, so we're now on the second bit, sort of. In fact, you know what? I'm going to quickly save it again. Stick it there. Opium den. Oh, lovely. Nice to see we're not uh, going all, all in with the stereotypes here. Just a few of the light ones. Oh, fuck! Hi! For some reason, one of those decided to just whiff past the fucker's head. Not entirely certain why I just got attacked by a man in a smoking jacket, but okay. We apparently get a better class of mugger these days. And here we, here we meet a man who is possibly Tweedle D and Tweedledum's uncle. Just look at the fucking size of that lad. Good evening. I'm sorry, sir. But this is a private club. Uh, yes, I know, but uh, I, I am expected. There's nobody here at the moment, sir. You'll have to wait for your friend outside.
John, my friend, forgive me for being so late. Just let us in, I answer for him. You will see, John, this place is really marvellous. Full of smack and hookers, apparently. And lights that don't fade away properly. And apparently crashing! That's always... <laughs> nice! Nice! I think we'll call it there for a set then, seeing as the game has decided to go, Nope, fuck you, I'm done. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, and uh, when we come back, I will try to keep this going. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.